Kitty Pride is out in the game and is absolutely amazing. I spent tokens on Ghost and Kang and I fully regret it. Kang was definitely better and fits within certain playstyles, but wasn't necessarily for me. Ghost just felt like an absolute waste of tokens, but Kitty Pride is really, really fun, especially with the type of decks that I enjoy playing, like Sarah decks and Bishop decks and things where you're doing stuff. Um, if I were to compare it to Clash Royale, Kitty Pride fits within a cycle deck. Um, unlike things like Kang that would fit inside of a Golem Night Witch deck or things like that, if you know the reference. Um, Kitty Pride is amazing, and our deck today has Kitty Pride, Sunspot, Angela, Daredevil, Scarlet Witch, Mysterio, Bishop, Juggernaut, Killmonger, Agent Coulson, Shang-Chi, and Professor X. And it just feels good. It just feels like a fun and good deck. It has lots of different control, obviously. Uh, with Killmonger, with Juggernaut, with Professor X, with Shang-Chi, lots of different things like that. And then you can get some big power with your Bishop and with your Angela by, especially if you get Kitty Pride early and you can spam Kitty Pride on top of Angela. It's really, really good. Now, I've seen some people comparing Angela, or not Angela, comparing Kitty Pride to Sunspot. But here's the thing. Sunspot only costs you one energy one time. Kitty Pride, if you get it on turn one, will cost you a total of six energy throughout its life. And its maximum power is what? Eight. So you play it turn one. Turn two, it's worth two. Turn three, it's worth four. Uh, turn four, it is worth six. Turn five, it is worth eight. No, and then final turn, it is worth 10 if you're able to play it like that and if you continue playing it. So plus two every time that you pull it back and play it. Um, really, really fun, enjoyable card. I don't think that it's overpowered. I don't think that it's busted. Um, it just feels good. It can be countered with Electra or Killmonger or uh, lots of different types of things like that. Um, and it's just fun. It's a cool card. I'm happy that uh, I was able to get it. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this video. Let's get into the games. Uh, sunspot in the middle, but I still think we end up winning this. Could be wrong. I don't think I am. Unless this is somehow... Okay. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh no. That was brutal. Okay. Potentially Sunspot serves its purpose here. We'll see. Um, actually, I think we do this. <clears throat> and now we pull it back and go Angela Kitty Pride. And I, I want them to get comfortable with their one cost cards. Because we have Sunspot, we have Kitty Pride. There's no way that they, they're going to think that we have a Killmonger. So I want them to get comfortable with playing their one cost cards. Because I imagine that they have multiple. So I, I think that this will be interesting. Dude, Kitty Pride Angela is nasty. That's pretty sick, honestly. Uh, Bishop, Scarlet Witch, Kitty Pride. Bishop, Scarlet Witch, Kitty Pride. No. Devil Dinosaur. Kitty Pride. OK. 
Okay. See if we... Ah, oh, we did not draw into armor, but... Oh, our hand is full of frig, man. Um... Oh, they bounced. Wow. One of the reasons that I love Agent Coulson. So sick. I'm chilling. I'm still waiting on my desk to get fixed. Or for them to send me a part for it. I was realizing my overhead light is on. Normally it is not. Okay, so this isn't bad because we can... Get some stuff going with that ain't what I won't not do. Ha, huh, okay. I mean, hopefully we draw into Killmonger. Here, that'll be Oh, dude, shut up. What? Not a chance. It's not that big of a deal. We we just have to we just have to draw into Killmonger. Um is the, the biggest thing. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Patriot, interesting. The thing that sucks about this is they're gonna be well ahead to where like, we could have Professor x this turn, um, but now we cannot. I will go ahead and do this though. And we'll see if we can cause some problems. All right, so definitely looking for Killmonger here. They're going to go Ultron underneath here. that actually probably helped them out um, if I'm honest um, we're gonna go ahead and okay so I, I really do think that they're just gonna Ultron right here um, so we're gonna go, we're gonna do this and this, and then final turn. We'll see if, they, yeah, okay, so they skip. They're gonna go Ultron here. Um, and we're gonna win by playing Professor X on the left. So we pull Kitty Pride back, we play Professor X, and then we uh, do this. Easy read. Incredibly easy read. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. What? That's brutal. That one's brutal. That one hurts. That, that one hurts a little bit. I'm happy we didn't snap because that could have it could have backfired on us if we decided to snap there. So I am uh, I'm happy that we didn't. Oh, it's the same person. Okay. So it's the same person. Uh, they also do not know that we have Killmonger. Sick. So sick. All right, now I'm sitting forward. They know we have Professor X. Only thing that sucks. Oh. <laughs> I want to try and play against him again. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, that was hilarious, dude. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Sick. Here. 
Here, here. Okay, Zabu over there. <clears throat> ah, I don't mean not like that. Um, but thankfully we can play uh, Mysterio over there. I'm gonna do this. And this. Um, so that I can go Angela over here. Obviously, they're going to know that this is the real one. We've got our Shang-Chi in our hand. So, honestly, I ah, we're going to be tied over here. I honestly didn't want to end up being tied over there. Uh, they also definitely have a Shang-Chi. So, we need to be careful of that. This is a pointless card now, but uh, not, too, not, not too big of a deal. Angela. All right, so we can probably... Oh, heck yeah. All right, so they do reveal first here. Um, so we can pull this back. We can go here. And honestly, I think Shang-Chi in the middle uh, probably wins, yeah, because this goes away, this goes away. I mean, maybe not. They might very well Shang-Chi in the middle, if I'm honest. Let's see what we're at over here. So four, we're at six over here. I, w I wonder if they just don't mess with this location, if I'm honest. Um, to where I feel like I should maybe do this and this. And we'll see what happens. They tie. Are they going to buff everything? Whoa. Of course they don't go to the middle. And I believe we win the left by one. Or not by one, but by enough. That was sick, dude. Heck yeah. Come on. That was big time. That was big time. So that looked like it was a Mr. Negative deck, and they just didn't draw into Mr. Negative. But they had lots of big power. Um, if a Tiger had gone to the middle, it would have been destroyed as well, because obviously 7 and 5 is 12. So solid game right there. Yeah? Camp Lehigh is, is a great location. This was a great featured location. The current featured location, Garbaggio. Go and throw this down. Hopefully we draw into Kitty Pride so we can start. Dude, sometimes Scorpion's value is absolutely incredible. Like absolutely incredible. Uh it could pull Professor X, so I'm gonna need to I'm gonna play Bishop just in case it does pull Professor X. There goes Daredevil. Bishop. Nope, okay. All right, not bad for us. Unless it says on reveal can't happen, it's going to get rid of Shang-Chi 100%. Wow, dude, thank you so much for not getting rid of Shang-Chi. Like, legit, I appreciate it so much. I wonder if they're going to think... I, I, might, I might play Professor X over here. After we play uh, Kingpin, because obviously we're gonna Shang Shang Chi this. They could also be playing a Galactus deck. Yeah. So they are indeed playing a. They're not playing a Galactus deck. Yo, I can play this again. What the freak? Why? I wonder what they're going to play here. Like, actual. And I wonder where they're going to play it. No, 
Nice. That's sick for us. That's that's big time right there. Obviously, we didn't need that much. Um, but we can at least go Shang-Chi, Kitty Pride, and Sunspot. <clears throat> Not sure if this wins. Not sure what they do over here, if they have armor or what. We play Shang-Chi first to avoid any sort of um, arrow play. Okay. So this will be a two cost at most. Surfer. Cool. Sick, dude. Solid stuff there. Oh, yeah. Good stuff, dude. It's nasty. This one's good. This is this is a really really good uh this is this is a good one. Kai Kai the Guru. Okay, sick. Jotunheim kind of sucks, but is what it is. We'll deal with that at the end. Probably with Bishop or something. Give me Sunspot. No, okay. Just gonna play this, and then we play Bishop. Alright, so we would guess this is probably a, a Shuri deck. Um, so there is some potential here with, okay, I'm not going to play here. We go Bishop here because this could turn into Jotunheim. Okay. Oh, I thought it was going to turn into a different location altogether. I'm going to do this. Hopefully they play a couple cards here and we can just knock them all over. What is it? Shuri. Go over to Jotunheim, please. Go over to Jotunheim, please. Okay. One. Two. Three. Or do we just stack the mid like hard? Maybe we stack the mid hard and just give up on the left. Nah, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind doing this. So they're gonna go red skull here, obviously. <clears throat> um they do reveal first so i think it'll be interesting to see maybe they play a one cost somewhere out there to where we can do like this this and this and we win this might win this might definitely win. This might definitely win. This is going to be a lot of power. That I think might be a little bit difficult for them to deal with. Dude, tell me, like, literally, please tell me that this deck beats this guy. I think they go Taskmaster and then, like, Titania or something. And they reveal first. So if they go Titania outside of armor, they lose. If they go Taskmaster on Jotunheim, they lose because we win the middle. Oh, we tie the middle. No, we don't because we have Bishop. They're thinking this one through. Oh, man, I would love this so much. If they arrow onto Jotunheim, Kitty Pride goes over there, but we have the Mysterio that is three. So we're at 10. We win that. Did they really just not do anything? Dude, did they just get so stressed out that they didn't do anything? Oh my gosh. Wait, I thought that I was going to be winning the middle by... 
Did I do my math wrong in the middle? I played three cards and I added this. Wild. All right. Yo, guys, that's going to be it. Kitty Pride's super fun. Uh, out of Kang, Ghost, and Kitty Pride, I hate the fact that I spent tokens on Ghost and Kang. Absolutely not worth it, in my opinion, especially for my playstyle. Ghost, not worth it for anybody. Kang, worth it for some people, not for me, not my playstyle. Kitty Pride, gonna be in, gonna be a staple in a significant amount of my decks. Such a fun card, fun one cost, lots of, like, it just gives you stuff to do. Uh, really, really enjoy it. Thank you guys for hanging out and watching. Appreciate you. See you on the next one. Peace out.